Hello Brian, so I'm going to show you real quick what I'm doing here with the fan clutch. We're not replacing it right now because I'm thinking of altering it a little bit and uh, I'm going to make it loose so you'll be able to remove it later in the household conditions. Now you're missing a little clip here. There's supposed to be a clip that goes throughout with a little ring here that holds this shroud that goes around the fan. So first thing is obviously I'm going to turn the shroud obviously like this and remove it, not remove it but I move it away because I need to get to the center bolt which is down over here. Next we're going to install my homemade tool to hold the fan okay so this is in and the center bolt in itself ideally you actually want to remove this I'll do without it but you know ideally you want to take that off so you obviously have to put the bolt in the 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 the, the, the actual this little wrench here I don't even know how to call it and you know I gotta find the center piece because it's a six point so you obviously have six possible location where you can put it I believe and I cannot find not even one here yeah, it's close but let's see if I can get this in there okay so now I got my little wrench here on onto the center bolt obviously you want to push it as far as you can then I have my lock tool here and let me see if I can set the camera down here so it won't fall off and then we're going to break it loose something like this I assume okay so for that I'm gonna use a pipe and then obviously just there it goes very simple really let's take the fan off the lock will come right off it's basically spin the wrench around and we'll get the fan out in a second I'm gonna show you a few other things basically when the bolt is all the way out you take the bolt out leave the bolt in place you take the socket off and then you just remove the fan from factory it's gonna be tight so like I said that's why I use a lock tool There goes the tool. As for fan clutch, this is original fan clutch. It's been built in 1993. You can see right here, I don't know if camera shows it, but 1993 built. I'm gonna just move the metallic spring just to have it to engage because it doesn't look to be in bad shape. It's just old, you know? So we'll get some life out of it, but eventually it will probably would need to be replaced. To replace it, you remove the fan. Right now I'm going to tighten it up. I'll show you later actually. Okay, so the fan is back in place. All you do is you just put it on. And I usually start threads at least I'll try to by hand, couple of turns. Okay, as you can see, it's starting, the threads are starting, then the wrench, and now, it's obviously just spin it around, it's a V8, so you have room, V12, there's this different socket I use, this different wrench I use for V12, 
because we're missing so much room versus V8 so there's really literally no space there so when it gets tighter then like right here I just try to spin it until fan start the pulley starts to move and that's about it I don't do tight on these bolts So you can actually take it off. I mean, ideally you, you need to block it, right? Ideally you need to block it and make it a little tighter. Uh, yes, no question about it. But you know, usually it always works out. I never got any of these loose because the bolt counter tightens it up when engine spins. It only gets to loosen itself if the engine stops and the fan continues spinning the other direction. On when the engine was stopped okay now here what we can do we can take a pipe and just actually no I'm gonna make it go up higher shift it over I don't think I will have it there There's this if you want to you can tighten this up And then tighten the bolt with ankles. So that's basically how I would leave it for you. So you will be able to remove it with just regular wrench. And now Put the cover back on make sure you start with bottom attachment points because then you won't see them the upper ones you would see bottom ones you will not so you start with bottom ones let's see uh, you have to look down one two three four five and then sides and then turn that's about it like I said you do want something here to secure the shroud because look how easy it is to undo it it's just like and it's undone I'll put zip tie in there for now that's what I usually do on customers cars and also when it moves you have to look make sure that you did not dislodge it which I did just now so I'm gonna have to start off again one two turn slightly three four and and turn all the way so I'm gonna put the zip tie here just so it sits tight next job fuse box